Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net and welcome to this demonstration for the Aftershake preset. Let's go and get started. After you install it, you'll see the Aftershake folder. So what we're going to do is take the Aftershake footage preset and this is the preset that you apply to footage. And we'll take it, drag it down, and we have speed, amount, and rotation. And remember, anything that says effects next to it, go ahead and leave that alone. And what we can do is simply hit the zero key and start previewing it. Okay, so here's the default earthquake effect. So it looks pretty good. You can also turn on the motion blur for your footage and that will just make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so there's just a nice camera shake there. Now we can increase the speed. So we want to shake faster, 15. So now we got a little more like an earthquake going on there. And then the amount also, we can increase that. Be careful because uh, it will get pretty high. So those two values together work pretty well to create a cool effect. Now we also have the rotation. Now we set that to zero and it will just shake, no rotation. But personally, I like to have a little bit of rotation. And what that does, it just makes it seem like the cameraman is a lot less stable, especially when there's an earthquake because uh, I have a hard time uh, holding a camera when it's uh, you know 7.1 on the Richter scale. So as you can see, uh, pretty cool. And the uh, edges automatically tile using the motion tile. Of course, you can check out a how-to on this if you go to the tutorial page. There's an earthquake tutorial. Um, Okay, so that's how the basic footage aftershake preset works. Now, I'm going to go and delete all this. Now, we also have the aftershake null preset, and that's the preset you apply to a new null object. So, create a null object, drag that out to the null object, and then we take our footage or any of our footage elements. The reason there's a null object is say you have other design elements, you have like a background or a composite and you want them all to link to the one earthquake that's the purpose of using a null so we're going to parent the null object and also if you have other animation applied to your clip you may need to use a null object so if we play this back you can see that the uh, footage kind of shakes let's go ahead and hit zero So it works exactly the same except it's a null object. So if you want the edges to repeat, apply the effect stylize motion tile effect. I don't know if you can see that, but it's there. Uh, motion tile and mirror the edges of your footage and then increase the output height and width. And that will sort of allow you to uh, you know, see beyond that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the preset. Good luck.